I'm alive! Someone comes along, or maybe even a couple. Ooh. But, um, you know, if it's worth making, it's probably worth saving. So, I might talk. I need to hear my stuff. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. Woke up this morning, tried to comb across my head and cried. Heard, um, I think this was an official, a British official person, saying about the, um, the, the, the people who from England or wherever had gone to join ISIS. They, um, he was saying there's nothing you can do except kill them. What a terrible state of affairs. I mean, to say that is the only answer. This is why we need theology debates. We need it open, we need it debated, we need to hammer down to the truth. And I definitely want to be involved in that. People are always fashionably late, aren't they? But maybe I'll get one of those YouTube crawlers crawling around on the internet looking for somewhere to go. And I'm here waiting for you. I think that's one of my biggest problems. I often, like, when I'm getting to the point of something, I say it really quick and sometimes I mumble it. <laughs> You're actually seeing everything I do now. <laughs> like, I don't, I want to let it go out, but I don't want to waste it. So, inhale through my nosey. When you ran to me, your cheek shone with the night. Bavary and blue bright. Bavory and blue bright, I love you, girl. Oh, I love you. And, and then, you know, he turned the camera, he went, good night. And I thought, oh, it is quite scary, you know. I was a bit scared of doing this, but, you know, it's nice actually when you just do it and you can take the feelings. Go away, don't watch me, go away, and you're more likely to want to stay. We are, bet you choke, bet you choke. And you got Muse, who I've only recently listened to, um, but kept hearing people saying, listen to Muse. And I listen to them, and they are so copying Radiohead, you, I can't listen to it. Because it's it's like, yeah, it's just like looking at a cheap imitation of something. It just makes me want to listen to the real thing, and not listen to this cheap imitation. Rain down, rain down. Come on, rain down. This is the good bit. From a great height, from a great height, rain down, rain down. Come About to break uh, the, the house. Woman, core, man, light surrounding the core. That's a soul. That is a soul. Woman, core, and your man. <laughs> Empty shell. Shell of light, though. And you'll meet lots of these if you're one of these. And you may try and do this with them. 
And it may last a few years. It may be happy for a few years. But eventually, if it's not the one you're meant for, and there's only one you're meant for, and if it's not that one, you're going to get tired of each other. She's going to get sick of you doing that. And you're going to get bored of doing that to her. You are going to start liking the feeling of doing that to somebody else. And she's going to like the feeling of somebody else doing that to her, just for variety's sake, just for change. Jesus, our mother and father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give me this night the courage to do what is right, and forgive me for my trespasses, and teach me how to love more, and help me to forgive those who trespass against me. Lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. So be it. By the way, um, like, our soul is, you know, not of this universe, and this body we have is loaned from God. This body we have is androgynous. Sometimes, if I'm here, I can be like this. And, and I'll start getting a feeling. And if I start getting a feeling, I don't move. I stay in the position I am. So some came from the top. Calm. But what it was like, it was like... Um, because I'd felt spirits before on the bridge of my nose, so this feeling in the temples was like protection. Teen and me shedding my facades. Now the way they came in was they... With, with facial contortions. At one point, I was doing this. I don't even know how to pull that face, you know? I've been thinking lately about humility, you know. Uh, those who are humble, humble will be exalted, and those who exalt themselves will be humbled. Thinking then, last night, in fact, is that, okay, when, when I do get a compliment then, when, when I get something that exalts me, I'll try not to let it get to me too much and I'll just try and remain humble. Because then I won't necessarily have to have something that kind of brings me down a peg or two. And what it means, what does it mean if you start shaking? I'll tell you what it means. It's resistance. Then you can tell they're not God because they're not so smooth. When you feel God, in your temples, he is his mother, his father. It's so smooth. It's just pure. And if you can relax and stay calm and stay with it, you can start to feel the enormity of God. Let, let the heart deal with this, because the heart, and the heart is you. You are your heart. That is the main part of you. Wow. Now here's something I can do. Here's something I can play with in. Meditation, there's, you know, every single cell and atom there is, is God's love. And you think of that galaxy surrounding your black hole. Look how much love there is. God has you surrounded in love. <laughs> Loads of it. Long old thing. And every time we breathe in, we're receiving God's love. Even our breath. 
isn't ours. Our only possession is the heart. And we, that's where most of us can talk to God when we're at our wit's end. And that's probably right, because, you know, we should try things ourselves. Because they don't put that on the video, because if they did, we'd all be thinking we're chickens. <laughs> Come to me. Through my son Stephen. Why? To connect to the people. Father, are the humanoids you made that built the pyramids, are they on the earth? No. Are they on the moon? Yes. Observing us, I already had a yes. But they won't interfere, no. The earth is ours, the moon isn't. Matthew. I just asked, is there a message for anyone who might watch this, Matthew? What's the message? Great. Great tide times. Great awakening. The key to achieving what you want. To overcome the problem. And you're not going to overcome it by not thinking about it. You're not going to overcome it by dwelling on it either. But look at it. When you feel God's presence, do you feel like an awareness mentally as as well as emotionally, or is it only emotional? So like I was saying, you know, to feel, to feel God's love would be purely emotional, would be God's love coming into you and getting to the heart from either direction. Just like then, what I was doing is I'm just feeling, when I feel God in my temples, and I want to expand on it, so that while well, that time I was concentrating on Father God, so here, and, you know, so, so in that sense, it's, it's there in my mental awareness, yeah, in my, in my picture, and when I go fully into the heart, I stop seeing with my eyes and it kind of just becomes one. So it's not two eyes anymore. It becomes one. So it's sort of all, all encompassed. The harvest is ready, but the workers are few. I wonder what AJ Miller is doing. Hasn't uploaded a long time. Okay, well they, they've got, if you, you can go and read their blog um, they have done an update on their blog just recently in October and their studio videos, I think they've just finished them, they're editing them and they are going to uh, be uploaded, they reckon, in November. Um, I think, you know, I think we are all the workers and we're just at different stages on different routes. You know, so we're all, you know, it's God's plan. So we're all heading towards this central truth. And you probably know that, you know, you get a little bit of truth and it feels good, but then it's, it's hard for a bit. He would put me down and now if someone puts me down, it's like water off a duck's back. And I think that's why he did it. Oh, hey, you're talking about channeling Eric. I've seen a channeling where they channel Jesus, yes. And he said he came through reincarnated in 1962. That's where A.G. Miller was born. Absolutely right. And um, they did a couple. And the, the, the channeling, I think the one where he said he was reincarnated in 
1962, was with, um, I think, her best channeler. And they did a different channeling with Jesus, with, I think, her most original channeling. Chan <laughs> channeler. And that wasn't so good. That wasn't so accurate, I don't think. If, if you're still there, Santam Santanos, can I, Rabbi? Santanos, Rabbi. Oh, I have another question. Why do they say in the pageant messages that A.J. Miller is not Jesus and reincarnation doesn't exist? Um, I don't know. I haven't actually read all of that. All of the pageant messages. I don't see how the pageant messages uh, could have known about A.J. Miller seeing as the pageant messages were written in the 1920s. So I don't know if that's something that the, the website that they continue it have put on. I, so I'm, I don't know. Half African, cool. Zimbabwe. My father is from Zimbabwe. He had a sickness and had a near-death experience last year and said he saw his relatives deciding if he will stay or not. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's so many cultures where people speak to their ancestors. Um, I do too. Now. Now that I'm aware. Well, I sort of did before, but I wasn't really sure what was going on. Telepathy works when you like someone. You know, we're all God's people. God wouldn't, you know, that's the main thing to prove that Yahweh isn't God, is God would not have a chosen people. Greatest, I mean, it's so great once you connect with God, once you feel God, even if it's just a little sense of God. It's so good because you know that God is there. You know, will a guy will feel different to a girl, meditating if you if you feel them, and if you're a guy, you are going to feel the girl's love basically coming in around testicles area. It's very easy for telepathy for um, a guy to turn telepathy from a woman into sex. Basically, uh, feeling goes into the testicles, and then the man's all like, Hoo and then the feeling moves into the penis. And once you then start getting an erection, it's going to be difficult to kind of feel. You can, you know, realize, oh, okay, I'm getting sexual. You can bring the feeling back where it came from, and then in the, there must be another tube, right? Into the other tube, <laughs> tubes. <laughs> into your heart and you know especially if it's an attractive woman it's difficult for a guy not to get sexual if they get feelings but quite often um you know the the woman it's not necessarily sexual it's just you know loving nice friendly whatever and when i felt love from men it's very much sort of coming in here Coming directly here, warm, nice, loving, and for me that in a different place, the, the, where God's love comes in, only God's love can come in. So when you do, when you do feel God's love coming into you, either from Father, it, Father would be sort of basically right in the centre of the crown, and Mother would be like I said right on the tip of the anus basically that's where it's going to be they've kind of turned mother god into devil which is absolutely wrong it made me feel like god couldn't cope <laughs> right if anything puts you off you know analyze it and think why does it put me off and usually anything that puts you off will be untruth like you couldn't you couldn't invent 
try as hard as you can. You couldn't invent a more perfect universe than what God has made it. The word is truth. Not the Bible. You've got to get that out there. Let's say like BBC or, you know, a national debate on religion. Because I think they're just worried it will turn into a, a frenzy and... And it probably would, so I guess the debate needs to be a bit more organic, and it's kind of happening on YouTube, I'd say. The error of depending upon this instead of depending upon God. And so quite often the meditation works better when I don't smoke, but that's when I've been smoking too much. If I went five hours without one, <laughs> Five hours! <laughs> so, is it any better doing meditation through live video? Should we see? Calm, sensitive, gentle, surrender. Embrace. Pain is just a resistance to a feeling. Ah. Talk to God. Ask God what God's favourite film is. <laughs> Thankfully, there's none of that going on with God. The enigma is, you know, we're, we have eternal souls, but we had a beginning. That's an enigma. How can that be? I can't guarantee we've got eternal souls. I can only pretty much guarantee 100 billion years. That's as far as I can see. And I can tell you it's as far as I want to see. And then you hit source. Who knows what happens when you get hit source, when you go into source. Don't worry, you're not going to go into source early. You're not going to get sucked in by it. You get sucked to it. I remember when I first saw source, when I first felt it was like this... And it's like, I don't, I don't think I did that with my arms, but that's how it felt. Within another universe, and within another universe, and within another universe, and within another universe, and within another universe. Is there one more? And then hit source. I mean, you know, the claustrophobic. That, that's the fear that would make you want to not feel it. But by then I'd already done quite a few, um, I'll say brave things. I, uh, I, I went, I was determined I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to choke, as the Radiohead song said. And, um, so I'd had a few experiences of, you know, that, that fear at the, when you're at the brink of going into something, because you know, once you go in, you know it's going to be like a waterfall. It's going to be jumping off a waterfall. And um, God's, God's protecting you, God's guiding you. God wouldn't have led you up to that just to fucking, uh, sorry, just to kill you or anything. God is good. That's the truth. So uh, anyway, we had a beginning. We we might have existed for a billion years already, but the first one of us became aware only about six thousand years ago. And since then, every time 